Then Jerubal, that is, Gideon, and all the people who were with him, rose early and camped beside the spring of Herod, and the camp of Midian was on the north side of them by the hill of Morah in the valley. And Yahweh said to Gideon, The people who are with you are too many for me to give Midian into their hands, lest Israel honor themselves, saying, My own hand has saved me. So now, come, call out in the hearing of the people, saying, Whoever is afraid and trembling, let him return and depart from Mount Gilead. So twenty-two thousand people returned, but ten thousand remained. Then Yahweh said to Gideon, The people are still too many, bring them down to the water, and I will test them for you there. And it will be that he of whom I say to you, This one shall go with you, he shall go with you, but every one of whom I say to you, This one shall not go with you, he shall not go. So he brought the people down to the water. And Yahweh said to Gideon, Everyone who laps the water with his tongue as a dog laps, you shall set him aside by himself, and so also everyone who kneels to drink. Now the number of those who lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, was three hundred men, but all the rest of the people kneeled to drink water. And Yahweh said to Gideon, I will save you with the three hundred men who lapped and will give the Midianites into your hands, so let all the other people go, each man to his place. So the three hundred men took the people's provisions and their trumpets into their hands. And Gideon sent all the other men of Israel, each to his tent, but retained the three hundred men, and the camp of Midian was below him in the valley. Now it happened the same night that Yahweh said to him, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have given it into your hands. But if you are afraid to go down, then both you and Pura your young man, go down to the camp, and you will hear what they say, and afterward your hands will be strengthened, that you may go down against the camp. So he went with Pura his young man, down to the outskirts of the armed men that were in the camp. Now the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the sons of the east were lying in the valley as numerous as locusts, and their camels were without number, as numerous as the sand on the seashore. Then Gideon came, and behold, a man was recounting a dream to his friend. And he said, Behold, I had a dream, a loaf of barley bread was tumbling into the camp of Midian, and it came to the tent and struck it so that it fell and turned it upside down so that the tent lay flat. And his friend answered and said, This is nothing less than the sword of Gideon the son of Joash, a man of Israel. God has given Midian and all the camp into his hand. Now it happened that when Gideon heard the account of the dream and its interpretation, he bowed in worship. Then he returned to the camp of Israel and said, Arise, for Yahweh has given the camp of Midian into your hands. And he divided the three hundred men into three companies, and he put trumpets and empty pitchers into the hands of all of them, with torches inside the pitchers. Then he said to them, Look at me and do likewise. And behold, I will come to the outskirts of the camp, and it will be that just as I do, so you do likewise. And I and all who are with me will blow the trumpet. Then you also shall blow the trumpets all around the camp and say, For Yahweh and for Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men who were with him came to the outskirts of the camp at the beginning of the middle watch, when they had just set up the watch, and they blew the trumpets and smashed the pitchers that were in their hands. Then the three companies blew the trumpets and broke the pitchers, and they held the torches in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands for blowing and called out, A sword for Yahweh and for Gideon. And each stood in his place around the camp. Then all of the camp ran, and they made a loud shout and fled. So they blew three hundred trumpets. And Yahweh set the sword of one against another even throughout the whole camp. And the camp fled as far as Beth Shitta toward Zerira, as far as the edge of Abel Mohola, by Tabbath. And the men of Israel were summoned from Naphtali and Asher and all Manasseh, and they pursued Midian. Now Gideon had sent messengers throughout all the hill country of Ephraim, saying, Come down to meet Midian and capture the waters before them, as far as beth and the Jordan. So all the men of Ephraim were summoned, and they captured the waters as far as beth and the Jordan. Then they captured the two princes of Midian, Oreb and Zeb, and they killed Oreb at the rock of Oreb, and they killed Zeb at the winepress of Zeb. Then they pursued Midian and brought the heads of Oreb and Zeb to Gideon from across the Jordan.